Hello everyone, Alex here again. Um, today I just wanted to give you a quick demonstration on the RT1 rib transfer carriage. Um, this is available for the Knitmaster Silver Reed Studio standard gauge machines. Um, I don't think it's available for the chunky or mid gauge machines. Um, but usually when you transfer stitches from the ribber to the main bed you use this a double eyed transfer tool and vice versa you know transferring stitches from the main bed to the ribber but this um, transfer carriage won't allow you to transfer stitches from the main bed to the ribber only from the ribber to the main bed but it's still a handy tool all the same okay so we need the P carriage, looks like this, and we put that on the left hand side. And these stitches are all in working position with the carriage out of the way. And when we slide this to the right, it will lift them all into C position, ready for the um, P, uh, transfer carriage. And then, with hope, they should all be behind the latches. You see that? Sorry, I'm not using a very good camera here. Hopefully, you can see that. Okay. And then we take our transfer carriage, and if that orange piece is in, we need to push this white piece on this side so it's sticking out like that. That just allows us to seat it on the bed properly. Now, you'll notice that there's a um, piece there sticking out if you, can you see that and what that what we need to line that up with is the first needle that the end stitch on the ribber is going to transfer to so this one is three there on the right and there's the stitch it's going to transfer to so I know that I need to line it up line that up with that needle like that as you can see because what that does is it pushes all the needles from the back into working position and will transfer these stitches onto those needles so once we've got it lined up we need to just well we can either lock it down or we can push it near to the start of the first stitch so I'll stop about there because if I push it too far it will miss those transfers and then we lock it down by pushing that orange piece in and then there's an arrow on the top of the handle and it, and it shows you which way to turn the handle so we start turning it and there's this piece that goes up and down and it's similar to um, the transfer tool, the double eyed transfer tool so it pushes it down and then the stitch transfers onto that and then there's a little hook that catches the stitch so it doesn't fall off and then that hook releases the stitch and it drops onto the main bed needle so I'll show you so it went onto the first stitch so it's transferred it onto the piece, onto the um, piece here and it's dropped it onto the main bed stitch transferring so it just transfers all those ribber stitches um, before I carry on I've, some people find this carriage transfers better when there's no weight on the um, comb but I'm finding it's working just fine with the weights on so I'm not going to try it with the weights off because it seems to be working for me so Anyway, as you can see, that's how it works. Now, sometimes it does drop stitches if it doesn't catch properly. Sometimes, if you're going a bit fast, I yeah, dropped one just there, so I'll catch that in a minute. Now, I'll carry on working to the end, and I'll I'll show you how we finish up. Okay, so I'm just approaching the last few stitches. 
we'll just transfer those three. The last one. As soon as you've seen that last stitch transfer onto that last needle, we just bring it back to the arrow here and then press in the white piece here at the side and that'll push that orange piece out and then we can just lift the carriage off and your stitches are transferred and you can just push these back now that piece that I told you about that pushes the needles into work so they'll transfer does push a few extra needles out when you finish so you can just push those back but luckily I've only dropped one stitch and I think that was because I went a bit fast there. But we can just thread the ribber and I'll show you what we've got. Yeah, I'll just pick that stitch up. I'm sorry by the way, I've not got a tripod. Can't seem to find it, I have seem to have lost it. But we'll find it, there we go. And then we can carry on knitting and whatever we want to do to this. Just a nice one by one rib. So I hope you found this demonstration helpful. And if you've got one of these, hopefully this video will help to get you using it. They are, they are very helpful and I do recommend it. Um, but like I said, you can only transfer from the ribber to the main bed. But... It's worth it's worth it I think so. Yeah, um thank you for watching this video.